Hi everyone, welcome, good morning. I, I just voted, I wanted to share, share my voting. Um, and I wanted to share that I voted no on everything because um, I have ideas on tax reform and I think we have a better way. And so if you want to follow my lead, uh, vote no on everything too. And also vote everybody out of office who is, on, who is currently in office. Hey, how are you? Did you go vote? Did you go vote? Did you vote? Have you voted? Have you voted for people in office? Have you voted? No, in this election. Oh, you gotta vote. You gotta vote no on everything. There's two two crucial things on the ballot and you gotta vote no for them. Oh, oh okay, that's cool. And you're welcome. Okay, he was honest, and he voted in the last election, but he's not local, so he didn't vote in this election. So that's good. <laughs> but um, literally, uh, I just voted, and I voted at the Wellington uh, building. So my stance on uh, taxation is it's theft, and right now our government wants to solve it by putting a Band-Aid on things. And um, I really highly recommend that they listen to Marla Fernandez because um, I'm a literate individual and I uh, think things through and uh, <laughs> I just have to say that um, vote no for everything, everything. And vote people who are in office out of office because your duty is to vote and fire people. Um, that is your duty. You're, it doesn't matter whether they're Republican or Democrat. It's whether they are the right kind of people to represent you and me. And so I no longer will be voting for candidates that are Republican or Democrat. I'm going to be voting for candidates that actually are for representing people. You know what I'm saying? And upholding the Constitution. And I believe that illiterate people in my district still believe in the Constitution. Um, and so if you're illiterate, I think you should vote my way. That's my message for today. And um, have a great day. And I look forward to sharing more information with you on my YouTube. Anyways, um, oh, I have to tell you a story. So I was walking over um, this way to the, to the Wellington Web building. And there was a man with his dog. And the dog was friendly and told me, you know, he's a dog. He's friendly. And then all of a sudden, the dog, he's right there on the road and i'm like oh no 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 do no do not do not do that um and he goes well where is he supposed to be and i'm like oh, well there's a park across the street you know he could be by in the park with the trees and the flowers you know so i i, I just had to say that and um you know, there's a lot of pain in uh, downtown Denver, and it looks horrible down here. Um, I, I just have to share the fact that I don't no longer enjoy coming to downtown Denver. It used to be such a beautiful town, um, and now it's like filth. That's my opinion. So, have a good day, and like and subscribe if you like this video. It was just a quick video to let you know my thoughts on voting. Bye. So vote no on everything you see on the ballot. And you know, vote people who are in office, out of office. Unless they're conservatives. Well, if they're rhinos, vote them on the office. But if they're progressives, please vote them out of office. Because they're the ones ruining our state. Yeah, I blame the progressives. They've been ruining our country for a hundred years, and I'm just tired of it.
I'm just glad that I woke up this week and I'm able to make a difference.